choke, um, playing off of closed guard. There's a limit. There's a limited number of chokes that you can really, really go for uh, playing off the closed guard. You've got your standard cross choke series. You start getting in here. It's really a lot of telegraphing. It's really, really hard to um, really veil what you're trying to do with your opponent. This choke can kind of play off half guard. It can play off of an over aggressive opponent. Um, what you're really doing is, is you're counting on an opponent dropping their head significantly when they're attacking guard, whether they're passing or, or whatever. So from this application, we're gonna go to close guard. So some pretty sneaky setup here um, on how you're trying to do this. We're playing from position of he's got arm control and he's just kind of stalling. He's staying in that classic stall position. Maybe it's at the end of a match, the guy's up on some points. He's really not taking any risks or any other thing. He just wants to stay stationary and try to not do a whole hell of a lot. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna feed inside. We're gonna check the armpit. We're gonna feed inside. We're gonna remove those hooks on the inside of the arms, okay? Pushing them back. We're gonna come right up over the top, either get the belt or get the back of the gi and we're gonna hold, okay? Hopefully toward the end of the match, we're looking at a loose gi situation. Let's say it's at the front of the match. It's not loose. We're just gonna kind of put one foot in the hip and we're gonna start trying to pull a gi, a gi uh, lapel out. So once we get this lapel out, and we yanked it, got it around the backside. We get to this position a lot. You see a lot of guys get this lapel around the backside a lot in the, in, in the gi. What we're gonna do is we can go ahead and go back and close our guard and hang on. This arm is really inconsequential. It doesn't really matter what we do with this arm. At this point, we're gonna come underneath the arm, backside of the gi. Hand is gonna feed up, in the, up inside. Now this is kind of the, the tricky part here. We're gonna pull the lapel, make room for our hand. Hand's gonna go up in there. I'm gonna keep feeding it through until my hand comes through the back side of the collar, okay? Once my hand comes through the back side of my collar, I turn palm out and I grab the back side of the collar. From this position right here, I can go ahead and straighten my arm and get my arm all the way through there. Now, what you'll notice is my hand has come up behind his arm now, blocking this arm here. There's not a whole lot he can do with it. This hand is now four fingers on the outside of the collar, okay? So from this point here, he's gonna start feeling like I'm trying to push him away. Because of the tightness of the way this grip is, it's gonna kind of feel like I'm wanting him to go backwards. Most likely, he's gonna start elevating just a little bit. Once you get that space, all we're gonna do is grab this far side collar here with the off hand and we're gonna hold him tight. Now we've got complete control over his upper body. I can hip out and turn. This hand is now gonna come in front of the face and feed to the far side gi. Lock up, one hand, I turn inboard and I finish the choke. If he's particularly stout, he doesn't wanna let go of that choke, I can pull this other hand inside, grabbing the back side of the gi, scissor down for the choke, okay? If this hand manages to come out and he starts to defend, he's grabbing at this hand, trying to beat this, this choke, I'm gonna grab the sleeve, pull, pull across. So now I've pulled here, I pushed here and I'm pulling across to finish this choke. <coughs> Additional setup, again, say so we're loose at this particular point, everything's flopping around, you okay? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's it's yeah. a tight choke, it's one of the tightest ones I've seen. Uh, One-handed operation, so it's, it's a very effective choke. Down, playing, playing the stall position, I'm coming inside, I'm pushing, I'm gonna come over the top, control, Find that lapel, flop it out, find that opening up underneath there where I can dive the hand underneath. Hand comes underneath, feed through, turn your palm outboard toward his butt. Grab that big heavy mess of gi there. Once it gets to this point, again, I'm coming in on the opposite side, push away a little bit, hip out, you can get as far under him. The good thing about this choke, the beautiful thing about this choke is again, this hand is inconsequential. There's not a lot he can do, he can do to defend it. He can put it anywhere he wants, it doesn't matter. He can't get rid of this grip. He also can't stop me from getting the opposite side collar. No matter where I get it, I can get it high, I can get it low, because the ultimate goal is for this hand to shift in front of the neck to here. With it here, I push him away, Hand is gonna easily shift to the cross collar, okay? If 
I want to conceal this. You guys, you high level guys that are wanting, you're putting something new in a tournament, you want to conceal this. Instead of exposing exactly what we're doing, the whole setup here, let's pull them inside, cover everything up, twist your arm down for the finish. Cover him up. There's nothing in this choke right here that I'm doing to, to assist in the choke at all. It's just my hand. I pull him inside, cover all this up, twist my arm down, there's the tap. Okay, if he's staying up, pushing his head away, he's trying to bridge away from me, pushing away, I just grab the head, pull, cover him all up, pinch the arm down to finish the choke. Again, I can come this side, pull. If this arm gets in the way, he starts trying to defend the neck with this arm here, all I gotta do is grab the sleeve, extend and push and pull like I'm starting a lawnmower. Just like that.